That is definitely crashing. Is that a friend? Oh my gosh. I might make a friend. Alright guys, so I have crafted my torch now. I do believe uh, what I was doing wrong was simply that I hadn't followed the mission objectives in the order that it wanted me to. And so it wouldn't allow me to craft yet, which is not very good game design. I'm, I'm kind of against a couple things in this game already. Um, not that it's a bad thing, these are all easily fixable things, but like the controls are a little weird and forcing me to follow these objectives rather than just learn stuff on my own is a really bad choice. Like, just let me, let me figure out stuff on my own or, I, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't want to criticize this game too much. Like, it's not, it's not a complete game. That was all I had to do. All right, there we go. I knew how to do all of that, but I was not allowed to for some reason, I guess, because I hadn't followed each of my vectors. All right, connection established. I'm not sure what that means. Am I radioing? Am I radioing home? ET phone home? Solus 3, this is Solus Command. Calling from the safety of capital ship Ophelia, Pluto. People! For a it's the people things. We received jumbled emergency readings from the satellite relay right before your distance landing time. Yeah, we're having a bad day. Oh, I should stay out of the cave. That was probably a bad choice. I don't want to panic. The other colony ships here in the fleet are getting empty. We have a 15-year journey ahead, and our time is running out. 15-year journey. That's a long time in space. Alright, there we go. Alright, we're moving. We're actually on our way somewhere. Uh, the red outlines, while, uh, just, maybe this is personal opinion. I mean, you guys can comment and say what you want about it, but the, the red outlines, whereas being kind of cool that it's showing me that it's heat, is also kind of getting in my way. Um, you can mess with the HUD a little, but it's uh, it's nice to, to just plain be able to see things sometimes. Just personal opinion. Inventory full. Okay, my inventory is a little full. I need to drop something. Um, and probably just go ahead and eat up this food can. That seems like a good choice. Wait, to drop it? Wait, I was consuming these before. How do I... How do I consume this? Let me... Okay, screw it. I don't want your food can. I don't like your food can. It's stupid. No one likes food out of a can anyway. I like fresh onions. Kind of looks like an onion. Plant. Eatable. Oh, it has some water in it. Probably a good choice to consume. Why can I consume this? But I couldn't consume the can. I guess we'll get our can back. Whatever. Alright. Oh, because... Why couldn't I... That's so weird. The controls. I'm just going to say this. Um... Controls are pretty much everything in the game, and the controls here do not feel solid. Like, why couldn't I just cut this open while I was holding it in my hand? Why did I have to drop it on the ground just to cut it open? It's a really weird choice. Whoa, oh, that's cool. I was able to actually set the, the plant on fire. Now it's giving off some heat. Oh, that's cool. Oh, but that's kind of what I figured. It's just a short burn. It's not going to last me very long. So I I love that I'm like... <laughs> I like to just think that my, uh, my character is just holding that torch in between his legs. And his pelvis is getting quite warm as it goes on. <laughs> I should probably pull that torch out. I, I don't want to leave that down there for too long. Don't want to don't wanna burn my manhood. That's important. I'm going to need that on this foreign planet. I'm gonna Captain Kirk this bitch. I gotta make sure- Oh, those things! No, no, no! Can I burn it? Please, let me burn you! Oh my god, all I want is to burn you! Dear god! Okay, the manifest. I remember finding this before. But it does not look like I can store things in there, or I feel like I should be able to. Oh, a beacon! Inventory. Oh, that's crazy important. AIDS navigation lasts forever. Inventory. I have got to drop something for that. That's extremely vital. Alright, what should... Well, we already... Mm, man, that's... I guess... I hate to say it, but I think Rocky is the least useful here. We have a sharp rock instead. Uh, whatever. Alright, sorry, Rocky. Love you, buddy. I will never forget this. You're evil. Shut up, Rocky. No one cares. Alright. Got my beacon. Let's go. 
Oh, I'm gonna have to see Rockies all along the way. That's harsh. Whoa, whoa. Okay, I definitely thought that was a living thing. I don't usually see sonar waves. I'm just, I'm not used to that, so it caught me a little off guard. I thought that was a living creature. Is it the, is that supposed to be the beacon showing me that? That actually kind of makes sense. Alright, I've actually found this before, but it was not showing me all of this when I was here last time. Just a, a mission order thing. You, you, This game clearly wants you to do things in a specific order that I was just all kinds of not paying attention to because I'm trying to talk as I'm doing this. How would I... I mean, I feel like this is a way into the cave. I just don't want to go around these bars. I'm worried I might break a nail or something. Uh, hmm. All right, so it wants me to go in there. Let's see if we can find a way around it or something. There's probably a way in there. I mean, obviously, it's stop being stupid, GameStar. Yes, there's obviously a way in there. That is your objective is to find a way in there. So obviously there is one. Let's just search around for a little bit. Maybe thinking if I go further right, I might be able to find someone. Okay, it's got me. Oh, whoa. Hello. That's crashing. That is definitely crashing. Is that a friend? Oh my gosh. I might make a friend. I might make a friend. Probably just a bunch of corpses, but I can befriend one of them. I mean, they look more like people than Rocky does. Sorry, Rocky. I loved you, but you, you're not very humanoid. Hello? 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 What is all of this? Water bottles. Did they send me? Oh! Because I made my call. They somehow sent me stuff. Teleport short range. Look at all this stuff. Okay. Mm. I have, I've definitely got to drop some things. Alright, just going to go ahead and consume this. Let's see. What else don't we need? I mean, I guess I feel like I can pick up, well, a sharp can. Yeah, yeah, let's get rid of this can. That's not really going to help me in any way. All right, I definitely need to go ahead and get some of this. The energy food seems like it would be helpful. Uh, the teleporter is unquestionably important. Teleport tutorial one. Teleport devices with up on the D-pad. That was... Thanks. That was a lot. That was everything I ever needed to know. All right, I guess they were just trying to say up on the D-pad is, is what you use to get to it. All right, let's, uh, if, if we can, let's go ahead and consume some of this stuff because I feel like I'm probably going to die if I don't. It'll probably be destroyed in no time, so we might as well get rid of it while we have it. Um, where's the water bottle? Oh, man, I have a lot of water bottles. All right. And what, now I have an empty bottle? I don't exactly need your empty bottle. I think think we can get rid of that. All right. Get us a new nice fresh one. Come on. I want I want one of everything. Please, one of everything now. Definitely want my beacon. All right, let's drop this rock. Um, this is another thing. I'm feeling like maybe more than 12 total items would be nice. Or at least let me carry bigger stacks or something. Like, this This seems to be getting a little ridiculous how much I'm having to play with my inventory here. I don't know. Again, possibly a uh, personal opinion there. And I imagine at some point I'll be able to craft a backpack or some sort of uh, carrying device that I can hold a little more with. Um, going around, I'm going to be honest, going around this side does not seem to be working quite as well as I had hoped. Um... Yeah, I definitely don't want to be in the water for very long, seeing as how it told me that it's going to lower my, my temperature. Oh, is this our way in? Did I find it? More rocks. Mm, this doesn't look like a way in like I was hoping. Alright. There's, there's got to be a way in there. That is pretty. That is moving very fast. That is scary. That planet feels like it is so close to us. Like, I feel like that planet is so close to me right now, I should be sucked into it like that that planet is right beside us my gosh or at least you there should be you know what i mean like of course something with that much mass is going to have massive gravitational pull so at bare minimum you see the the wind is like pushing away it should be sucking us into it shouldn't it 
I, I could be wrong. I'm not a physics expert here, but I'm pretty sure if it's that close to us, it's going to have a gravitational pull and it should be causing a lot of, at bare minimum, wind to be pulling us towards that. Whatever. Oh, run my face into a... <laughs> get all scientific and technological and then run my face into a wall real quick. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. I am not a scientist. All right, what's going on over here? Seriously, where is where is the way into this cave? This there's a lot of stuff that is not the way into that cave. My goodness. Reminder, mission objective: reestablishing satellite uplink, highest priority. Yeah, of course I want to reestablish the satellite uplink. I get that. Thank you though. All right, but I mean, it's funny that you're saying that, but um, it's telling me to go into that cave. Wait, I'm getting a hypothermia. I figured the torch would help me uh, out with that. I guess, my goodness, I'm gonna die out here. Okay, I can at least, let's see. Inventory full. No, I wanna light it, there we go. That helps me out, yeah, if nothing else. Okay, okay, so that does help me out at bare minimum, just lighting the, the plant beside me. Whoa, come on. I ha I'm holding a burning torch and I was standing next to a fire, like, does that not help me out? I guess I have to be indoors. I'm getting that feeling that my requirement is to be indoors here. I don't know. I, I'm not sure if I have any idea what I'm talking about. But I mean, just naturally, whoa, whoa. Hypothermia imminent. Those, those stars. I love, I love these like little visual effects that games do. Like these stars are cool. It's probably, let's be honest, it's probably horrible alien spores infecting and destroying me from the inside out, but it is very cool looking, I will say that. All right, can we burn something? I am literally dying here. Can we burn something? And to get around this, I absolutely have to jump in the water. Oh, this is not a good idea at all. I'm going to die. Uh, yeah, this is probably the end of me. I have some health, and there's a horrible storm. Things are getting louder. Game! Game! I am trying to talk. What is that? Whoa! What is that? Oh my gosh! That is horrifying. There is a massive tornado over there. Oh my god. That is really cool to look at, but I need to get indoors. Most definitely. Holy crap, I'm going to die. I am definitely going to die. Well... Oh, crap! That thing is right beside me! Is it following me? Okay, no, it's just going towards the center of the island. But I have got to get back indoors. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we are below half health. Oh, this is not good. I've got to find something. Come on. Like, let me in towards or something. Oh, I know how I can survive. Okay, okay, I actually have a, a way I can survive. Uh, I'm really low on health. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I don't have the stamina to keep moving. I know, I know, I'm losing health. Thank you, game. Please. No, please, keep giving me the readout. No, I couldn't figure out that I was losing health from the blood stains you're putting all over my screen. I hadn't quite figured it out yet. Thank you, though, game. My god, that fire. Oh, we've got to get there. We've got, I've got no time. I have to get over there. I am literally dying. I... Thank you so much. I'm cold and wet. I didn't know. I didn't know. You're cold and wet, okay? Okay, female voice? Okay? My goodness, this game is very difficult. I am not going to lie. I only played this on, like, the regular difficulty, and this is extremely hard. Oh! I didn't... I didn't quite make it. I'm sorry, guys. I, I'm literally trying to figure this out as best as I can. Um, I, I admit I'm a little bad with, like, crafting games or whatever. I just don't quite understand them to some degree. Like, I, I can play Minecraft, but I don't really get it. But anyway, I feel like this game is good. It has great potential, but it needs work still. Uh, the controls are very confusing, for one thing. And, um the direction is not perfect like i i get that it's pointing me somewhere but i don't get exactly how to go there or exactly what i need to do when i'm there a lot of the times um 
maybe like when we, you get near the notes like force you to read them not hide them like i feel like the notes that are required for me to read for my survival are almost like easter eggs in this and that's a really weird choice for something that's required for you to read um but overall it's it's still a very interesting and very unique experience and i'm glad i got to try it so i hope you guys enjoy the video if you did feel free to leave a like uh comment if you want to see me play a little more of this I'd, I'd be happy to try it out a little more and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want more great videos like this one i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one bye